girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. As you could probably see from the thumbnail and the bits around me, we are here with our favourites. Now these are our empties favourites, like a big, huge, collective empties favourite video over the past six months. So if you haven't seen this before, guys, I filmed this in August and in March. So we go through the bits that I show you in August will of what we have been loving for the previous two seasons. And then the ones that I show you in March will be for the previous two seasons. So at the moment, the bed is filled. Okay, and there's probably going to be quite a few reoccurring items popping up that you may well have uh, remembered seeing me indulging in in the past six months, let's just say. And some that you're like, yes, they are always going to be in a monthly favourites, they're always going to be in an empties. So this is kind of like a little tradition on the channel, as I say, we just sit back, see what I've been loving for the past six months. It's almost like a monthly favourites all rolled into one for you and this is everything well. I say everything. If I literally kept every product of an empty within the six months, we'd be here for probably the next six months. So these are just some of the ones that I know are my go-to that there will have been many and many of these over the past six months. But yeah, shall we get into it? Because we've got some hair care, obviously. Bath products galore. We've got some facial skincare. We've got plenty of food and drink and bits and bobs I've been... <gasps> absolutely loving okay so yeah let's stop rabbiting and get in with our now half a year empties video <laughs> right so it's gonna come no shock to you that over the past six months and pretty much every single day of the year there is never a time when i don't like these candles so these are the only two that i managed to keep because candles can be quite bulky and if you know my room i don't have much space so i have my good old trusted panland bag and any bits that really pop up i fill them in and i have a little box for the monthly favorites and then i have my bag under my dressing table for my six monthly favorites this bag oh my goodness if it was to be like a huge 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 astronomical empties i would probably need about four black bin bags but i try and limit it to that bag because as i say don't want it too repetitive but there is some duplicates of bits and bobs that i've been loving so you know me candles and these were the two that stuck out to me these are both from where was this one this is a tk max one i believe and i think this one could potentially be a TK Maxx or like a Tesco Asda, but I've been loving citrus scents. Citrus scents for me, even in winter, I find really warming because obviously orange is classed as a citrus. Oh my God, is that black tar? We do not need you rubbing the black soot against the boxes, do we, Shannon Lee? And another thing that I go through left, right, center, and if I kept every single bottle, would be here for days, hand sanitizer. I know that when it, the uh, sea hit, it went through the roof, didn't it, for hand sanitizer. But I was always a hand sanitizer freak. I'm not going to lie. Even before then, I mean, one of my drawers is pretty much hand sanitizers. Because if you remember my bedroom, I had a little three like raw iron basket thing that I used to have my wax melts and my hand sanitizers in. That unfortunately has broke so <laughs> i don't have that no more um what i have had to do is like cram all my hand sanitizers into my spare alex drawer and when i tell you they're filled they are filled they're either from best of sense bath and body works ones that i picked up when i was in mexico um garnier is the typical one i go to for boots and super drug or this one which is the soap and glory magnifico Co. this will be one i will be picking up nearer the time for holiday because gives me holiday vibes and this dr palm i think i picked up like a pack of 10 of these from boots online and if you get hand sanitizer online from boots you can normally pick them up in bulks of five and ten so yeah highly recommend them because these are 100 mils so perfect for traveling i like the roundness of it because i can pop it in my little um i've got an odd compartment in my car and i pop one in there so yes definitely will recommend them and i may have to do another order soon Oopsie. And as you can see from my face, I am of the glasses wearer community. And you will see these pretty much every single vlog, every single routine. And that is my lovelies. You know what I'm going to pull out? The spectacle and lens wipes. Now, before, you only used to be able to get these from Savers, but now 
pretty much all of the bargain shops will do them. And they're by health point, spectacle and lens wipes, 52 wipes for one pound. If you are like me and your glasses just somehow get disgustingly dirty every day, like I don't know how. I do them when I wake up. I'll do them halfway through the day before work before work during work i will then do them when i come home from work and before bed and even in the space of me doing them before bed and waking up and putting them on in the morning they will somehow have got dirty so these absolutely phenomenal they you do them and they instantly dry so you haven't got to worry about the cloth and everything like that they dry they're good to go and they're normally savers is a quid i don't know if it fluctuates in other bargain shops but yeah savers is always a pan so best believe i'm like oh yes we are getting into that now i want to kind of switch it up because i've got a lot of categories what i have been loving for the past six months are my tiktok headphones which unfortunately i have broke not broke to the point that i can't use them but these little spiny bits are very thin please be careful if you're like taking them off to speak to someone because i've done it and like whew. so now mine goes in but it doesn't go all the way out so it's not a problem however i have seen that primark have started to do a version of these i saw them in baby pink and baby green and i was like oh okay because i feel that these could be my headphones for editing on the plane i just need to somehow sync them to the bluetooth on my macbook because i'm not too sure how that would work but yeah these i think on tiktok shop those about 12 or 13 pound and primarks are 15 pound if i remember correctly but yeah my technology i've been loving them i've been loving as usual my marshall like airpod things but i do actually tend when i do my editing on my macbook i just use my old-fashioned wired apple headphones but i think i should really get to using them i need to charge up my disney ones actually I got funny with my Disney ones when I have my coloured hair because I didn't like, I don't want to ruin them because they're light grey ear puffs. So maybe I should get them out. And they, I believe, are already synced up to my MacBook. Maybe we will be bringing the Disney out for Jamaica. Maybe, who knows? What I do know is I need to quickly change this battery because Canon, you're not loving life and we've got a whole bed of empties to get through. Be right back. There we go. And hopefully no more interruptions now. If it's not the battery, it's the memory card. And I have actually wiped my memory card a couple of weeks ago. So fingers crossed we have enough footage. Right, what is what bits are you going to look at and be like, yes, Shannon Lee, I know. If there is one thing that could epitomise me without a shadow of a doubt, it would be dry shampoo. Now, I only show you three, my lovelies, but you know that my dry shampoo addiction is real to the point where it irritates people sorry not sorry i i tend to fluctuate between trying cheaper dry shampoos because i'm not gonna lie this is hella expensive okay i try and get cheaper ones and then i'm like mm, is it worth it no i might as well just stick with my original the only other one that i feel is a comparison is there's one in tesco and i think it's called coco lab that's the only one that i find predominantly close by but you have to use half a bottle we all know that my ride or die is batiste now these little bottles have gone up these are about three pound 70 three pound 80 and the big ones i believe are around about a fiver mm -mm -mm. always get them when they're on offer i tell you where a good place is where i never used to think before but someone messaged me before and said that amazon normally have like bulk clearances of batiste if it's an old flavor or anything like that have a look on there I am due to do an order at Boots and Superdrug soon, so I'll see if there's any on offer. I might try and get the bigger bottles, because I'm not going to lie, I do prefer the bigger ones. It's just value for money if you can get them on offer. But yeah, Batiste, I'm not going to change my ways, guys, okay? I have a busy lifestyle, and I cannot be bothered to be washing my hair every single day, or even twice a week. We all know me, normally it's a weekly wash, which may offend some people, but each to their own if i had the time i would love to do a nice deep clean on a sunday and then on a wednesday maybe do like a little hair mask a little refresh through the week i just don't have the time to be perfectly honest i really don't but when i have been washing my hair i was using pantene three in one i was using this before i had it colored because with pantene it can strip out color very easy so this is the one that i was going to when i'm like this but previously also get these when they're on offering super dry hooks 
previously when I have my coloured hair I go for the OGX it's either OGX or Maui whichever is on offer because I think that these two brands are actually really expensive for um, shampoo and conditioner but I have been loving because I love the scent tea tree mint extra strength shampoo and conditioner so this is from OGX and these can normally be about five six pound each however sometimes you can get buy one get one free or you get them for half price and as I say I don't wash my hair often but when I do I like to give it a nice lava and these whoo they lava up they are phenomenal let me tell you that absolutely phenomenal another one that I love at the moment and I'm currently towards the end of is the purple one which I think what's the purple one I think it's like biotin I think it's biotin this can be in the empties I mean it's not currently empty right now it's filled and it's not getting chucked out but my sippy cups sippy cups and tumblers is what I've been loving and what I will continue to love forevermore because I'm now on this Stanley cup dupe phenomenon and if we thought that the sippy cup addiction was bad I think it's going to get even worse with that oopsie and then a brand which I have used pretty much I'm going to say for the past decade as soon as this come out this was a brand that I was like yes I tried it I loved it and I've been with it ever since and that is my lovely Femfresh I have had PR from them before which I was like oh my god Femfresh knew who I am and they sent me a little parcel of like um the latest sprays and some more top-ups of the sensitive washes but if your lady area is a bit sensitive and things just irritate it like I love all my bath products as we all know but sometimes I don't have many reactions but sometimes I just get irritated afterwards it won't be nothing when I'm in there and I'll just think mm, shouldn't have washed with that or shouldn't have used that so these two are probably some of my favorite actually no I have another one where is my other one there it is we have a combination so you have the Femfresh daily wipes these are great if you're on the go you just need a little freshen up you can pop them in your bag when you pop off to your ladies doo -doo 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 -doo, clean as a whistle good to go i like this also this is the daily deodorant spray so this is almost like you know like i remember back in the day my nan used to use talc everywhere and anywhere there was talc this is almost like a talc for your nanny you give it a spray up it is predominantly the same concept as the wipes but sometimes people just prefer a spray maybe if you haven't got a bag to carry your wipes but you've got a pocket pop that in good to go and then the main thing is the cleaner so this is the 0% sensitive wash I either have the sensitive or the original which is like the orangey color bottle but this is the clear one free from fragrance and color 94% natural origin and it's soap free and it's gynecologist and dermatologist approved because as I say it's all to do with your pH balance um in your womanly area as I say in your nunny you have to have it at right levels if it goes a bit a wire then your ph balance goes off and god knows what can happen so this is actually it says the ph of intimate skin is different to the rest of your body so you have one set of ph balance and then you have your separate ph balance and it's just about getting them getting them entwined but yeah femme fresh if you ever need anything they also do like post shaving balm shaving creams they do i feel like there's another form of spray that they do i'd have to have a look because I haven't actually bought that for probably six months. Because when I do a stock bulk up, I stock bulk it up everything. I probably buy enough to last me six months. I'm like that with my dry shampoo as well. I think Femme Fresh and dry shampoo, if I go into Boots or Superdrug, people must just think, this girl's got like maybe a greasy hair problem, which I do. I embrace my greasy hair. And with the lady area because i will easily buy 10 to 12 bottles within each range so i'll have like my 12 big bottles of batiste with the femme fresh i'll pick up some washes some sprays some wipes balm talc everything they actually do a talc as well the talc i don't tend to reach for as much because it's just messy ain't it talc is messy but it's always there as a backup when you need to be on the go oh oh now I think I'm going to leave food and drink to last because there's actually a lot of food and drink. Some healthy, some not quite so healthy. While we're talking about the ladies area, 
why don't we show you this so i have been using this brand now for i'm gonna say just over two months and it is by the brand oyo or oyo and they are a skincare company basically for your private areas so i spoke about it in quite a few vlogs ago as i say been having this now because i'm on my second batch of the skincare range and i kept seeing it pop up on tiktok and i kept seeing it pop up on instagram so i'd done a little bit of research and i thought you know what we'll give it a go i had an introductory code got a little bit of a discount because i'm not gonna lie this set of three is expensive especially when you think of it as skincare for your private area okay so i picked it up and i thought right you can buy the bits individually or you do like a quiz and then once you do the quiz it will tell you what you need mine said i needed all three so i was like okay and it's basically a three step to helping try and sort out razor bumps and rashes and maybe you get some skin pigmentation because I said before in the vlogs, I never really had like razor bumps or rashes. And all of a sudden, they just appeared out of nowhere. And I hadn't changed my shaving cream. I hadn't changed my razor. I just didn't know why all of a sudden I was getting all of these razor bumps. And I'm not going to lie, it's not nice to look at. When you have a nice bit of underwear and you just see your razor bumps, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm very self-conscious of that. And I think in the run-up to the holiday, I was like, oh no, like, I need to get this sorted. So i done the test and it said all three. So what you have is a three-step process, my lovelies. The first one is an almond exfoliator and it's ingrowns out. So the purpose of this is you do a couple of pumps on your hand and you apply it to your area dry. Give it a massage, do what you need to do and then leave it for like three to five minutes. So normally while that's working, I'll be like washing my legs or like maybe sorting bits out in the bathroom because yes, I do walk around my house and do So if I'm on my own, I'll pop that on, walk around and then I'll get ready in the bath after. So once you do that and you wash it off, I then go in with my shaving cream, shave away and then you have this. This is the mango cleansing butter and this is almost like a really thick moisturizer which is great because i tend to cut myself as well i'm very i don't know why my skin seems very sensitive at the moment i have changed my razor i've got one of the shoreline razors quite a lot of you guys recommended that and i've also got a venus razor so i do have specific razors for specific areas of my area so i'll have some through the bikini line some through the top the sides anything like that and this is just like a thick moisturiser. This can go on when it's wet. And you leave it for two to three minutes. Do your thing. Then you do the rest of your body. Washing away. la di da di da How have I got? I've got that black soot on my leg. Ay, ay, ay. And then when you come out of the bath and you dry all off. This I think is the bit that is. This I think is the fundamental thing for me. I do think. I mean that all. Mm, oh, I don't know. The exfoliator is great because it keeps the roots fresh the moisturizer it must work because it keeps it silky smooth but this is the thing that i think has really made the difference and this is the oat oil so after you've come out of the bath or shower you've dried off it's in like a little pipette so you squeeze it and you do one little pipette down the side another one and then on the top and you literally just massage it in and you you are left oily, I'm not going to lie, but the fissions the next morning waking up, I think it's the oil that takes away the redness. And as I say, I have noticed, I would probably say at least a 75% improvement. Don't get me wrong though, a few days down, if I don't keep up with this, I notice the change. So they say to do the oil every day. The exfoliant is two to three times a week, but have to be done the day before you shave and then the cleansing butter i think is like a two to three day a week thing but yeah that is every day so if there's a few days where i miss that i notice it because i'm like oh she might be looking a little red she might be looking a little raised and bumpy but yeah i am gonna keep 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 persevering with that as i say normally that set is around 50 55 pound which as i say is a hell of a lot of money for a bit of skincare for your lady area you know but i do think it is all worth it in the end i do think as i say i've noticed the difference they will of course be coming away on holiday with me that is like my go-to they are like my skincare 
for my area, you know? So yeah, I will still continue to let you know how I get on in the vlogs with them, but definitely I'll leave link down below if anyone else has any problems like that. As I say, you do a quiz and it will tell you what bit. They also do, um, what do they do? Or am I getting confused? No, they do like exfoliating gloves as well. And then the razor that I use of Shoreline, I'll leave that link down below. That is like a cutthroat blade. So I was very, very worried about that when I first started because I thought, oh, and not get me wrong, I did cut myself a few times. But now I've kind of got the hang of it. And again, that they do like a shaving soap with. And because it is like a proper blade, <sighs> concentration is key, my lovelies. Let me tell you that concentration. Let's do a little bit of health. So as you all know, I started to get involved with gummies. And the main thing that I could not have made this spring and summer without is my Olivia. Hay fever was on another level this year i feel the past two three years hay fever is like spiking and it's on steroids every year and it's getting worse and worse this as soon as i woke up if i did not take this when i woke up and have it in my system within five minutes of me waking up i'd be having constant sneezing fits so yeah i have gone through many years of hay fever treatments different types of tablets different syrups sprays oh drops everything this is the one that I feel works best for me at the moment. And as I say, normally always on offer, Boots and Super Drug. You can normally pick up, buy one, get one half price. That's how they normally work. But yeah, absolutely love that. And then we've been raiding some Holland and Barrett. I started on the gummy hype. Now there is a lot more, <laughs> a lot more to come because I have actually invested in some new gummies. And you'll probably see them in monthly favourites. But I'm trying like now to branch out i've even got like a little pill box to put all my gummies in because i do think it is important to try and get as many vitamins as you can and certain things like apple cider vinegar however i'm still not keen on the gummies of them they still do taste like ugh, absolute vinegar i can't lie but these two are probably my favorites this is from yummy and this is the gut health probiotic so as you all know i suffer quite badly with like bloating and I don't know if it's something when I eat a particular thing or if it's just my body's digestive system because I have rubbish digestion to say perfectly the least. But I have really liked these. I used to take them at night time and then I used to find in the morning I didn't have that like rock hard belly. And then another one that I absolutely loved was the collagen gummy. Strawberry flavoured and it said beauty for healthy skin and collagen is the protein that gives skin its structure as it declines with age. Not going to lie, I did feel that my eyes didn't look as sunken. But trying to get this particular one is a nightmare. So I have actually got a substitute, which is another brand, but it's still along the collagen vibe. Because, yeah, Holland and Barrett, if you know, guys, if you see something you like, you've got to get it in stock. You've got to get it in stock, get it in bulk. Or subscribe and save, because the yummies... Those Holland and Barrett ones, I think, are about £12, but the Yummy was about £25. Never, ever, ever get anything from Holland and Barrett unless it's on a sale. Or, you know, when you buy something and get another for a penny, or buy one, get one free, or three for two. Anything like that is when I stock up on my gummies. So, yeah, I am slowly trying to look after myself a bit more. But, let's say, the apple cider gummies, I thought they were supposed to taste like strawberry. There is a strawberry taste, but you still get the... Ugh, no, 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 it's not a bit of me, not a bit of me at all. Another thing in terms of like hygiene, roll-ons, been loving me doves at the moment, as I say, I've only managed to keep the one, I thought I would have kept some more of them, but yeah, dove is my go-to, and the only other one that is my go-to that I think mum probably chucked them out, is my Lynx one, the grapefruit and kiwi, I have the body spray over it, I have the roll-on, they are my go-tos at the moment for my gym. Facial-wise facial wise i say i don't use wipes and then i have a few wipes i am a lot better i do try and use like my micellar waters i have these with my little cloths and that but just for like day to day if i need to quickly grab something off these are these are my babies boots no it's not boots super drug they stopped doing the original ones. I don't know why. They discontinued them. And I've been in every time I go in store. I'm like, have you got the original Super Drug exfoliant? And they're like, discontinued out of stock. I'm like, but why did they stop them? 
they're like, I don't know, I'm like, they was like a godsend, absolute godsend. But these are the Be Soft Multi Acid Exfoliating Pads. And these are quite good if, say for example, I do a wipe. If it's one of them evenings when I cannot be bothered to do my cleansing and all that, I will go in with a wipe. And normally, my wipes are from Primark, guys. I don't be bash bosh around anymore, unless Superdrug have some on offer. These are me wipes I normally go to. Micellar, Pink Grapefruit, Cucumber, Sensitive. I don't really have a preference. They're two for a pound. So if I'm in a bit of a rush or I'm being a lazy night, wipe these over. When I have some with still bits of stubbornness on them, that's when I go in with the exfoliation pads. And if there is still some stubborn bits, then I'll have to quickly grab like a bit of a cleanser or something and try and shimmy it off. But yeah, I say I don't have a lot of pads and uh, wipes and then I have a few. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes I'm too lazy for skincare. I can't lie, guys. I can't lie. Cannot lie. Makeup. I ain't got many bits of makeup, but... I do have these. These are my MAC Fix Plus. We have one which is the Fix Plus Pink Light. I love this. My makeup is not complete if I do not have my MAC Plus on me, okay? MAC Plus, MAC Fix Plus. And then this was the mini one. Now, I'm really dubious if I can just refill this, which I think I might be able to because, well, now I've just broke the cap off. I think this will be perfect for travel. Because it's only something like, yeah, 13 mil. But I don't know if I can. Have they screwed this on so tight that you can't unscrew it so that you have to go and buy another mini? I think they have. That's cheeky, ain't it? Oh, God. Don't do this. In the <gasps> Game changer, guys. Now I need to see if I can get the lid off the big water. Will it... Oh, does it not go on properly now? Oh, right. I'm not chucking that because I'm going to say that'd be perfect for on holiday. Because I don't need a big 100 mil when I go on holiday. If I'm spritzing myself with a whole bottle of Fix Plus, something is wrong. This should be perfect. That should do me two weeks, right? Oh, I'm keeping that. Right, we're going to... It's going to be trial and error. If it works, you'll see it on holiday. If not, you'll see a big bottle of Mac Plus. Right. Let's go in with me old teeth. As you all know, as I say, if you've been following me, I am going on a bit of a teeth journey now. Um, not necessarily teeth, actually. It's more gums. It's my gum journey. And I have used quite a few different things over the past six months. One thing that I will tell you to stay away from if you have gum problems, I mean, take it with a pinch of salt. You can try it if you want. Listerine. i done Listerine. And just the flashbacks give me nightmares. I put my mouthwash in. Normally I mouthwash for like a minute, which I know is too long. And all of a sudden I was mouthwashing. I thought, my mouth was dry. I spat it out. And when I tell you I spat it out and looked up at the mirror, I almost put myself into shock. My gums recede, okay? This Listerine had... I practically had no gums. Oh my goodness, the sheer panic. It was the week before I was due to go to the dentist and I'm like, I've just messed up my teeth. I have got no gums for them to work with. I'm going to have to have all my teeth took out and new teeth put in. I oh, I did get a Listerine though after and it was the specially designed like after advanced gum treatment. I'm very hesitant though still with that. I'm hesitant with that and I've got Corsodil which I'm very like, I just get worried with it. I get really, really worried. But this is the best combo that I found in terms of taste, the way it reacts with my gums. And this is the Colgate Perio Guard. I don't know if I... Actually, I haven't, have I? I ain't seen this in the shop because I normally get it off Amazon. They're about £5 each. And this is the Perio Guard Anti-Stain System 0.12% Kyla de Gula something. And this is the mint flavour. Because some of them, the textures and tastes were horrible. Now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the toothpaste of this isn't the greatest either. This is very like aniseed -y, if I remember correctly. Is it aniseed -y? Oh, I don't want to get it on my thing. Yeah, it reminds me of, um, you know, like the licorice all sorts, the perfumed balls. It reminds me of that. But it's not too unpleasant. It doesn't leave the grittiness that I find Corsadil does. 
So I definitely will be repurchasing these and you will see these again in monthly favourites empties videos because these are, I would say, if I had to stick with one lot of dental treatment, it would be this. So who knows? When I go and have my bits and bobs done in September, I'm going to be on a whole new dental plan. So it might be something else that I'll see and I'll be like, oh, actually, no, I need to try them. I have seen that I've got some uh, special types of flosses and brushes and I'm just like, oh my goodness. I'm going to have to get up even earlier now. I can't just be a quick... I've got to like proper like almost have the skincare for my teeth now. I'm getting skincare for all my body areas. Aye, aye, aye. And talking about body areas, shall we get into the best part, which is the bubble baths and all the things cute. <laughs> right. Bath stuff. There's actually quite a bit of bath stuff. I'm not going to lie. Because as you all know, I'm a bit of a bath addict i love me baths don't i so the fact that i've only kept these mere few bits shows a lot because i tend to go through oh god that's a good thing how many bottles of bubble bath do i go through a month i could probably go through one bottle of bubble bath a week that's quite bad ain't it but i like my baths to have loads of bubbles can't help it that is why when i go to home bargains I stock up on these beauties. These are the Cousins Creations from Imperial Leather, if I remember correctly. And for example, I've got To The Moon and Back and You're Having A Giraffe. But if you see my home bargains hauls, there is never a haul without one of these. Smells fabulous. It is half a litre for one pound. Like, you actually cannot go wrong. Mm -mm -mm. And whenever I go in there, yes, I get suckered in. Yes, I have to buy some more because I just think, why not? When you compare it to... My Dr. Teal's, which is a litre, and that's about £10, £12. But don't get me wrong, that is like you need minimal amount. Like, I will probably split this into... I might get five baths a bottle out of this, because, as I say, I do like to have my baths very foamy. So, yeah, thank goodness they're only a quid, eh? The ones that ain't a quid anymore, but I use very sparingly, are my body shop. Now, it guttens me, because I used to love body shop. If you remember my Christmases, every Christmas I'd get every single cent pretty much of the body shop. But the prices have gone through the roof, I'm not going to lie. And I just think I'd rather have six bottles of the Cousins than having one bottle of the body shop. However, I got this when it was sort of back on offer in the day. In the day, I think it actually was like beginning of the year. Oh, and it's lemon. And this was a bigger bottle as well. This is the 400ml one, but it's a hair and body wash. The ones that you get in the normal sizes, I think, are only like 2 50 And I think they've gone up to about £6, £6.50 now. So there is a big difference, a big, big difference indeed. I've got something on my leg, and I don't know what it is. I feel it could be this. Again, if you've seen my home bargains haul, the Dead Sea Collection... This is my go-to. Always the coconut. Oh, but they have bought out a new scent, Cherry Blossom. I picked it up from Home Bargains, was it last month? The Body Wash. Well, Body Wash Bubble Bath. I haven't seen any other style yet, so we'll have to see. But the coconut is my go-to. You get, how many grams is this? 970 grams, almost a kilo for £2.00. You get a litre of bubble bath, I think it's 220, 230, and then they have the salt scrub, which is again around the two pound mark. But yeah, these are perfect as well. If you know anyone who loves baths to do like little pamper sets, as I say, they also do it in a lavender and they've started a cherry blossom. So we'll see how it goes, eh? This, however, is number one, it looks fabulous. I love the whole grey and white marble effect. It's Bayless and Hardin, and it is in the scent White Tea and Neroli. This is the luxury body wash, and it is luxury. This is normally, I think, around £3.50 a bottle. But if you get it in boots on a half price offer, you're laughing, okay? You're absolutely laughing. So, yeah, that is probably one of my go-tos. They do it again. What is the Black marble and a pink marble, but I feel like those scents are not a bit of me. I think the pink could potentially be something with rose in, and I think the black is something like a myrrh or a woody scent, and I'm like, mm-mm. This is very fresh, like, very spa-like. So, yeah, you've seen that in uh, many a vlogs. <laughs> many a vlogs and many a routines. And then... Is Christmas complete without a Ted Baker set? And the answer to that is No. If I don't get Ted Baker at Christmas, I'll always get a Soap and Glory or a Sanctuary Spa. You know when Boots have the big star gift? And the one from Christmas this year was the Ted Baker. And it had the Raspberry and Orange Blossom Bath and Shower Oil. This, oh my god. 
You probably think, well, if it's an oil, how does it work? Because it says bath and shower. This leaves the bath. You do get a few bubbles, not a lot. So sometimes I do tend to put in a little bit of bubble bath with it. But it leaves your bath and you feeling so silky smooth. It is just like you're coming out. And many people may not like the oily feeling, but it is so nice when you come out and you're just like soft and just, oh, yes, please. Right, my lovelies, this is where, within food and drink, there's so much. <laughs> we have good bits and we have bad bits. So let's start with the drink, shall we? We have a lovely energy drink from Holland and Barrett. This is kombucha. This was the energy mango and yuzu flavour. Now, I don't really, I can't lie, I don't really know what kombucha is, but I'm seeing it everywhere at the moment. So if anyone knows what it is, please do let me know, because this was actually very enjoyable. I did very much like this, and they had, I think there was two or three other colours. This was energy, I think there was one for like vitality and stuff like that. So that is like the healthy version, okay? You know your girl loves a strong bow. And this one, the tropical cider, yes please, okay? They also do it in bottles now, which I may or may not have partaken in. Maybe just a few repurchases, but yeah, the strong bow tropical... This is like my summer drink. If it's not Pims, it's Strongbow. I say that though, if it's not Pims. If it's not Pims, if it's not gin, if it's not a Pong Star Martini or a Daiquiri or a Cosmo. Oopsie, oopsie indeed. And here just to show that I can be healthy, okay, we have the juice company, Go Go Get a Super Juice. Now, these are from Aldi or Lidl. Aldi, I've just seen the little sticker. And they're about £1.40. Now, £1.40 for 750ml is not bad because sometimes I love the Innocent Smoothies. You know, the blue one? Oh, that's probably my favourite. But they're like three quid three quid i'm not i can't justify that so i have this one now i do need to try the other flavors i need to try that blue i need to try the green but i just look at it and i'm like oh shivers down my spine i stick to what i know and i know i like that one so we we, we were gonna have to try ain't we we're gonna have to try it. and also from aldi the protein milkshakes I have gone through countless of these. If I don't fancy it as a drink, I tend to have it with my cereal. Whether that be Weetabix or my little Choco Flakes, I will have this as opposed to my milk. Because you're combating two in one stones. You get your protein, you're using it as a milk. And then also you can still have a little slurp when it's all done and dusted. <laughs> the, the way that my diet goes from healthy to non-healthy is just... It's laughable. Talking about snacks... These guys, if you like candy floss and you like slush puppies, get yourself down to Home Bargains, 89p. The candy floss blue raspberry. They also do the strawberry one, but blue raspberry is my go-to. And I have gone through quite a few of them because I see candy floss as it's literally like nothing. So it's no calories. I don't tend to look at like the sugar content. Even calories, it ain't too bad. I mean, sugars is quite bad, I'm not going to lie, but we're just going to ignore that because I picked these up in Holland and Barrett as well and I cannot get them now for love nor money. They've discontinued them and it is the good gut range and it's by Unrooted. Now, I've seen Unrooted, but I think that this is a really old flavour because the only ones that I can see now are like apple cider vinegar and turmeric and all that and I'm like, no. This was the original Boabab and Passion Fruit Shop these were supposed to help with the gut and again I used to have these coinciding with the yummy gut health and it was actually a really pleasant drink. It was a bit sharp, I'm not going to lie, but it wasn't, ugh, it wasn't unpalatable and I actually used to really enjoy having this in the morning but as I say now, it is discontinued so I need to have a little look where I can get that from as I say because the new flavours are mm -mm -mm. not a bit of me, let me tell you that. Oh! see this guys always multitasking here just had a notification that a video is ready to export so it's done its work in iMovie and now it is going to do its work in YouTube let's put that on this is the realistic life guys I am either filming and then I am uploading as we film trying to edit after and let's have a look is it all done and dusted it is oh it's a good one as well 
as I say, because at the moment we are very much go, go, go with trying to get the content done because we need to transform the house into autumn very soon. So we'll see how it goes. Make sure it's all on there. Oh, and iMovie has started to export the second video. That's fabulous. That one shouldn't actually take too long. Oh, actually, maybe it might take a bit of time, but hey ho, let's do that. There we go. Sorry for that little interruption. As I say, we all know what my um, internet is like. So as soon as I see it's exported, I'm like, needs to go on there. This is probably from one of my favourite Bake With Me episodes in the past six months. And again, I can't seem to find it anywhere. So I think I might have to go onto the Bottle Club. And hopefully it's not discontinued. It is the Bailey's Pina Colada. If you like pina colada, yes I do. And I'm probably going to be swimming my body weight in pina coladas in September when I'm away. And then moan when I come back and I need to be harpooned because I've had so much fresh cream and banana and rum that I actually am a mess. Yes, that is right. But this, I done it in a pina colada cheesecake. And when I tell you that was lovely, that was lovely. This you could pour over ice cream. You could have it neat. You could put it in custards, creams. Yes, please. I absolutely love my flavoured Baileys. I still have a few in there. I've got an apple pie and a red velvet cake. So best believe, I think we might be making some boozy bake with me throughout the autumn period. Yeah? Are we okay with that? Are we okay? I think I can hear you shouting through the screen like, yay, bring on the booze. It's going to be a few boozy bake with us. Yeah? We're going to go with it. Now, the past six months, we have had loads of food sent from different countries, which absolutely blows my mind. So we have had Paula send over some bits from America. We had Kim and Jason send some pieces from Australia. And I wish I still had the Australian packet, but I don't because mum got rid of it. If you saw the video, it was almost like our mini cheddars. And they was in all different flavours. The pizza and barbecue ones, oh my God, insane. Give me them by the kilogram. I am a happy woman. These were the only ones that I could find I had the packaging for, the cookie dough bites. And when I tell you these are addictive, yes, they are. It's probably a good job I don't live in these other countries because I dread to think what I'd be like. I dread to think. And if I was in these other countries, you best believe I would need this range. If you know what I'm going to show you, you can probably hear me siphoning through. You would have seen these on some of the vlogs. You would have heard me speak about them. My protein. Iceland has collabed with my protein to bring out a set of meals. And it will be a set of ready meals. They also do chicken skewers now. And they also do pizzas. And I believe so, they do ice creams now. Yes, I feel like there needs to be a video soon on all of these because I have absolutely loved trying them all. They're normally 10 for £35. I don't think it includes the pizza, chicken skewers, or ice creams. I believe it's normally just the main meals itself. However, they normally retail at £4 each, which if you are buying in bulk, a fiver's a fiver. So I always wait to hold off. Now, I don't know if I could say what my favourite is because the ones I've had have actually all been lovely. The halloumi breakfast. I'm not going to lie, right, guys? I opened this up and it reminded me of plain food. And I thought, oh, God. Oh, I'm not going to like this. When I tell you I was very pleasantly surprised, I loved it. And see, things like this keep me on track. So part of me feels like I just need to eat these three times a day and that is my food because you get the calorie intake, you get your protein, it tells you everything on the back. So this halloumi breakfast, for example, 20 grams protein. That's not too bad because if you had a milkshake with it or a clear whey drink, that could be another 20 that you're adding to it. And it is only 316 calories. So if you are like me who calorie count, something like this is a lot better than going to the snack van and getting a bacon roll, isn't it? Yes, Shannon, that is a lot better. Now, oh, I don't know what my favourite is. I'll tell you one that I was very pleasantly surprised with, and that was the jerk chicken with rice. So as you can see, it has two chilies, and I'm thinking, whoo. No, it was very much like a mangoey chutney, like a sweet sauce. So this was 598 calories and it's 34 grams of protein. So if you have 
the three meals, you could in essence get around 60 to 70, maybe 80 grams of protein. Then have a drink or your shake and maybe like some protein bars because I do need to get back on the protein hype. I'm not going to lie, I think that's kind of why I've not really noticed much change in my body, even though I'm doing all of the half marathons on a Saturday. I'm not noticing much of a change because I feel like I'm not feeding my body enough. I'm being so focused on the calorie intake, but not necessarily whether like, is it protein? Is it fats? Is it carbs? It's just like get something down my neck and be done. So that I was very pleasantly surprised with, I'm not going to lie. One, however, <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, this one were not too bad, all right? This was a two chilli as well, the Singapore noodles, uh, 527 in calories, 45 grams in protein. So this is a higher intake one, 45. I feel like this could actually be the highest one. Oh, it's not the highest one. It's not the highest one. The one that is the highest in protein is actually the one that burns my mouth off. This has three chilies, and rightly so, it should have three chilies. I saw this, didn't realise the chilies at first, and thought, oh my god, it's like a Nando's. It's like a Nando's paella vibe. Those three chilies, it needed to be worth it for the 58 grams of protein, 550 calories. This set my mouth on fire you know like the sriracha um mcdonald's wrap yeah like that fire but it actually really tasted nice so i can't complain but yeah the peri chicken rice so you've got like your singapore noodles you've got some caribbean food with your jerk chicken this is kind of i would say like portuguese spanish almost like a nando's paella vibe and then we move on to i'm gonna say like american pulled pork mac and cheese slightly lower in the calories on the 415 and 31 grams of protein now as we all know i never ever had tried mac and cheese or chicken caesar salad until i went to the dominican republic last year and now everywhere i go i will try and find some form of a mac and cheese a salad is a salad to me so i don't if i'm going out i don't really tend to eat a salad i'm not gonna lie guys but if i see there's mac and cheese or mac and cheese as a side your girl's trying it this was actually not too bad at all the only thing it was a little bit a little bit watery on the sauce it wasn't as thick as i'd hoped but beggars can't be choosers we cannot be choosers indeed now when i see this one this was like me to the dozen it has one chili but guys there's really not a chili on it five three one in cow slightly lower in the protein this is only 28 grams but we all know my love for katsu curry and this one does not disappoint it is breaded chicken so it's definitely like the katsu i thought it was going to be a grilled chicken it's not it's the breaded chicken then you have bits of sweet corn chopped up peas carrots nice rice the rice is really nice in this and yeah that is probably up there with a firm favorite of mine along with actually both of these are favorites now we're now going into the indian cuisine one chili it doesn't need a chili, guys. 320 on the calorie count and 34 in protein, chicken tikka and rice. So now with these, some I would say are more dinners and some are more lunches. So any of the bowls, the pots are a lot bigger than the square pots. So I would say the square pots could be for lunches and then you have your big bowl for a dinner. But that, 10 out of 10. And this one, the last one, 421 in the calories, slightly higher because it's got a bit of cheese in it, and 38 in the protein was the beef pasta bolognese. Now, that's not just saying with guys, these are the ones that you just have to have. There are other variations. And also, if you have some of these, like with this, I added a little mini naan bread. I added a little couple of slices of garlic bread. So I think as long as the basis is correct, then I should be okay. But yeah, I'm going to definitely try and get back on this hype. I'm hoping the meals have gone back on offer. Because I'm not here. I don't want to be paying the four squid per thing. I want to be back on it for my £3.50. But I've got a huge bag again. The bed is filled. And guys, this I feel like this has been a long video. But I do hope you've enjoyed. This has been our six monthly empties video. <laughs> so my lovelies, where will we be in six months time when we are in March? We will be doing this all again. And who knows what we would have been loving. We would have. We would have been loving, eh? Who knows? Will there be a bit more tech? Of course, there's going to be candles and Batiste, ain't it? Anything that you think might crop up, anything that you think, girl, you need to try in the next six months and you are going to be hooked, let me know down below. I don't want to rub it, rabbit, and take up any more of your evening, guys, because I feel this has been just a really big chit-chat about loads of empty bottles and packets. 
Oopsie. <laughs> Guys, take care. No, don't take care. You've got... This empties. My brain seems empty at the moment. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And as I say, leave us a comment. What have you been loving over the past six months? And if you had to do some empties, what would be your go-tos that would be popping up? But now, Shannon, that you can say it. Take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you very soon for a brand new video. Whatever that may be, because I didn't even know when this one's going up. Bye, guys.